started. Yeah, then you, you still have, uh, you still have uh, five minutes, but let's say you can start because anyway, nobody else will enter in the room anymore. Ah, I see, so I, I see. There. And I thought you were going to say, well, but you can start because nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're not there to say that. No, uh, no, okay, yes. Uh, you know, Fred is uh, so polite, so nice to everyone, so <laughs> Belgian. Well, yeah, uh, I may not be. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are going to talk about this uh, uh, very uh, interesting topic uh, about MySQL 8 and uh, MariaDB 10.4, which are uh, latest version of those two mm, uh, respectful databases. And even though, uh, huh, you see, oh, now it turned out. Even uh, though uh, Fred gave me extra five minutes, I planned for 20 minutes. Uh, right, and uh, as I uh, look at this uh, uh, problem uh, or uh, this, uh, uh, this content, uh, there is uh, so much uh, of uh, uh, difference uh, those days between the latest MySQL and, uh, and MariaDB. It's really hard to go in a feature by feature right, and explain it uh, in, uh, in 20 minutes. That would require uh, uh, like a, a day tutorial, uh, if not more. So I decided to instead focus on mostly uh, high-level comparison, right? Not going in a very uh, high-level, uh, uh, very low-level de de details. One thing I uh, think is important to know is what, uh, uh, if you look at the MySQL and MariaDB, is what MariaDB is not MySQL. Uh, not anymore. I think the first, uh, uh, the in the first, right, when uh, at Origin, there was a very little difference when it was, you know, 5.5 version, but uh, at the uh, later times, there is a lot of uh, changes, both in uh, what you have to do as administrator, as well as uh, the things you have to care or uh, as, uh, as a developer, right? Some of those things, I think this is, I would say, the differences of, uh, uh, of a worst kind, if you will, right, because you would have uh, uh, their SQL syntax, right, the functions, the features, which are uh, uh, the same syntax-wise, but they have a subtle differences in behavior, right? And why I call those things the problems of the worst kind? Because if MariaDB has a function and MySQL doesn't, then it's very simple. Your application just wouldn't run, right? If a functions have some su subtle corner, ca uh, corner uh, cases about how it performs, then your application may fail in, uh, in kind of a tricky scenarios, right? And that is something which is uh, we just have very hard, uh, hard to test. So keep it in mind, uh, right, the uh, number of applications those days, especially if you think about the Drupal, right, the WordPress, uh, they tend to support both my, uh, MariaDB and MySQL, but that requires a special effort by development teams to take the software for both database systems, right? Don't, uh, don't assume if you have been development for years just for MySQL, just for MariaDB, you can just move your complicated application and it works absolutely the same with no changes. Having said that, uh, I will say what those are both uh, great databases, right? They have developed a very strong followers, very uh, large community. They have been both growing very rapidly. You may have seen uh, uh, MySQL, for example, getting the uh, award from DB Engines about the, being the database of the year of 2019, uh, which we didn't get like for, I don't know, like ever, <laughs> right? And uh, MariaDB was a uh, runner up uh, last year, second uh, only to Postgres. So both of them are uh, doing well. Now, uh, in terms of, I will try to be uh, fair, but mine kind of fair. Uh, I hope uh, I will offend. Uh, and give uh, things to disagree uh, for uh, both uh, MariaDB and uh, uh, MySQL team members uh, and the communities. And I see there's a fair amount of development team presenter, uh, uh, presentation. So if you don't agree with me, then shoot, Peter, you're on. That is bullshit, right? Let's keep FOSDEM spirit going. Right, Fred? <laughs> <laughs> So let's uh, start from a development model, right? We all know what the My, uh, MySQL is developed by the Oracle, uh, Oracle Co Corporation, right? And uh, contrary to some uh, uh, 
uh, rumors, right? Uh, what the, uh, Oracle actually does accept uh, contributions, right? There have been a uh, number of things, both small uh, and large, which have been accepted and included in, uh, uh, in the uh, re recent MySQL release. Oracle uh, offers uh, also follows what I would call like a dropship open source model, right? So it's not like uh, all the development, all the kind of small patches, every commit are immediately uh, visible in a GitHub, but when the Oracle releases the new release, we have a source uh, which, uh, 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 which uh, magically uh, appears. If you look at for MariaDB, here is, uh, I think, is uh, interesting, right? Because with MariaDB, there are, uh, you know, uh, two involved entities, uh, MariaDB uh, Corporation and MariaDB Foundation, and different components which may, uh, we may use in the ecosystem is uh, owned by those uh, uh, different uh, entities, right? So, for example, uh, MariaDB Server is released by uh, MariaDB uh, Foundation, right? And a lot of uh, development and roadmap is mostly driven by uh, MariaDB Corporation, right, in terms of uh, uh, features which uh, go in. At the same time, contributions are very much encouraged, right? I think MariaDB spends a lot of time uh, and effort to really invite people to, uh, uh, to contribute, right? And uh, uh, which is a two, uh, uh, I would say, two sides uh, uh, coin, because on the one extent that really gets uh, more stuff in MariaDB, but then uh, that also means you may have a, uh, you know, uh, not as much mm, uh, consistency between the features, right? You have more stuff to maintain. There can be more stuff which is of uh, unknown quality because it was sort of contributed, right? But then developer who have been doing that is not really interested to do that anymore. And uh, MariaDB Foundation, which is in charge, with maintaining the server, it is uh, a relatively small company, right? They cannot really maintain everything which was contributed uh, over years. And development uh, for um, for MariaDB is done uh, uh, is done much more uh, much more in public. I would say what uh, everything what the MariaDB Foundation does, right, is of course. Uh, uh, completely in public, but there could be bits and pieces which are developed by the third parties and then kind of also drop shipped, right? So, for example, if you look at uh, Galera 4 development, right, which was developed a lot, we heard about, hey, it's coming and coming, but you could not see any source until it finally, uh, you know, landed much closer to the GA stage. Now, MariaDB Corporation and uh, complications, right? I mentioned what the relationship is complicated. Right? But first I want to say, why do you really care right? uh, as a developer? Well, if you look at the history of uh, the MariaDB, a lot of that was uh, uh, based on, well, you know what? Oracle bought MySQL. It's going to kill it, right? or at least screw it up, uh, uh, big deal. We don't want to happen that again. Right? So there is MariaDB foundation to prevent that from happening. Because in the end, if you think in a, in a corporation, nothing prevents from Oracle, you know, theoretically, to, uh, to buy MariaDB Corporation, right? That is a company of investors and so on and so forth, right? I was in MySQL in the early days, and we never imagined that MySQL would end up in uh, Oracle hands at that time, right? But that's uh, exactly what, uh, what happens. So... Uh, so why that is important is if you are really looking at the Maria uh, DB from the uh, you know from an insurance standpoint, right? You need to understand what is provided by Maria DB Foundation versus not, because if uh, Maria DB kind of corporation is bought by another uh, Oracle, another company, right? You want to know what will kind of uh, remain. Uh, Maria DB Foundation is really uh, responsible for MariaDB server, right? Many other components such as uh, connectors, max scale, are owned by MariaDB Corporation. A lot of the stuff that MariaDB Corporation does is open source. Some things like uh, 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 MariaDB uh, uh, max scale uh, is not, right? It's uh, uh, released BSL. 
Now, there are also some things which I would find strange, right? So, for example, if, where you look at the majority of uh, repositories and packages for Linux distribution are uh, managed and provided by MariaDB Foundation, but then uh, uh, Docker builds are uh, no, not do Docker builds are done by uh, MariaDB Corporation, right? So it can be really complicated, from my opinion, to uh, understand who is doing what. Okay. Now let's look about the open. What is open source when it comes to the MySQL? Like when you hear what the MySQL is an open source database, of course this is not entirely the true, right? MySQL is an open core database. There is a MySQL community server, right, which is open source, as well as a lot of other tools which exist, which are, uh, which are uh, open source. I think what is interesting in my, about the Oracle MySQL approach, we keep the whole, um, whole platform has an open source version, right? So there is a, uh, you know, a thing like a MySQL router, there is open source version of a, uh, uh, you know, MySQL shell and uh, uh, whatever, right? So their approach has been, well, you know what, you should be able to spin it up uh, and do everything with an open source version, right? Then, uh, um, uh, uh, there are some enterprise features which is uh, part of an uh, uh, enterprise platform, right? Uh, enterprise is really focused on the commercial license plugins and tools, right? And I would say even in this regard, uh, uh, Oracle is actually doing a good job for themselves, but actually for also for third parties by uh, not having kind of another enterprise source code, right, which is kind of uh, uh, sparkled with enterprise features, but having enterprise features as plugins, which allows third parties to implement similar functionality as they want, right? Uh, Percona has uh, implemented, uh, uh, you know, similar functionality for many enterprise options, and I know a number of uh, people who has been doing that uh, that themselves. It is uh, possible. Now, I think what is also interesting uh, in this case is what the MySQL. Uh, only adds uh, uh, the, uh, add some new features. Some of them go to enterprise. Some of them they go to their uh, to their proprietary. Some of them actually seems to be slated for uh, Oracle Cloud only, right? Some of us have heard about this, you know, wonderful Rapid Engine, for example. But what I think is uh, is great is Oracle uh, the, never took uh, anything back. Like, oh, that was open source license. And uh, that's not anymore. In the MariaDB space, we have a MariaDB server. is obviously open source. MariaDB connectors are open source. Though many of them are managed by uh, uh, by corporation. Uh, there are some other parts of uh, the sort of complete solution. And most importantly, I would say Max Scale is uh, not open source. And I think what is also Interesting in this case is what there is a history of what Max Scale was open source and later was a, a relicensed proprietary, right? So that is a question to what exactly may follow that rule depending on the MariaDB Corporation business needs and business pressures, right? Of course, we can be sure uh, my MariaDB server is going to remain open source for two reasons, right? A, it's MariaDB Foundation, and B, because it uh, uses a lot of uh, original code base from MySQL and Oracle, right? They can't really uh, relicense that. For MariaDB Enterprise Server, uh, right, you can, uh, uh, that is as a part of a MariaDB Enterprise offering, you can see what it is an open source, but an open source uh, for the customers, right? That means you don't really find it on a GitHub, but if you are the customers, then you will be provided access to the source code uh, uh, together with, uh, uh, you know, the binaries. And to be frank, that is something what uh, MySQL, one of the uh, iterations in the MySQL history, that's what MySQL used to do, right, many years ago. Okay. So another thing that is interesting is the relationship with the open source and the community version, where MySQL Enterprise is a superset of MySQL community. Whatever runs, whatever uses in MySQL community is included in MySQL, uh, is MySQL Enterprise. Right, and there they're also aligned on a release schedule, right? So then you have, uh, you know, 8.0 goes GA, MySQL and MariaDB, it is the same. 
In, in a MariaDB case, MySQL Enterprise Server is extended separate set of community server. So that means there are some features, right, uh, which are additional in the enterprise plugin, for example, it would have a, you know, an enterprise audit plugin which has some additional functionality. But there are some things which is included in uh, community uh, edition of MySQL, which, which is not included in the enterprise. And also MariaDB uh, uh, platform, right, which is uh, how MariaDB enterprise version is called, uh, works on a separate life cycle, right? So MariaDB 10.4 was released what, uh, last summer. Ma MariaDB platform X4, which is uh, based on MariaDB 10.4, uh, was uh, released just in the last uh, uh, last few weeks, right? So that is, I think, is also um, interesting. Uh, interesting difference. Now, another thing I think is interesting is uh, about the cloud native, right? Supporting the Kubernetes ecosystem, right? And uh, in this case, I would frankly say what both MySQL and MariaDB get thumbs down for me, right? I mean, if you look at uh, MySQL, they have been uh, doing, ha have the release of MySQL Kubernetes operator. When the alpha was released, what was about like two years ago, they were very excited saying, yeah, that's cool, MySQL understands that community is important. But that was not uh, updated for uh, eight months. And uh, there was MariaDB Kubernetes operator, which was actually one of the launch operator of Red Hat's operator hub. And it's kind of disappeared in public, right? And uh, many pages which seems to be describing uh, what, uh, you know, the operator, uh, you know, result and page not found, right? So I don't uh, really, I wasn't able to find much public information about fate of MariaDB uh, operator, right? Uh, and uh, there are third party operators that exist with MySQL, of course, right? There are some, I would say, Helm builds from Bitnami. There is a Press Labs, which does, uh, uh, the, you know, some uh, operator, right? Uh, we do a Perfona operator for Perfona XRD cluster. So there is some ways, but not from uh, the main vendors uh, at this point. Okay, let's look at the focus now. I if you look at MariaDB, it's initially complete with MySQL, complete with MySQL on features, right? And there may many features came in MariaDB Talk, right? But I think what is uh, more recently uh, focus has been really is it had a very good enterprise database as a target migration from uh, Oracle, Microsoft, uh, SQL Server, uh, and so on. I think another thing that MariaDB does very well is visibility for sysadmins. Like if you think about the, you know, startup scripts, uh, command line experience, right? Those are kind of a classical old timer sysadmins DBAs, uh, that is very good. MySQL, I think, has been focused on the traditional MySQL use case, right? For a lot of, uh, uh, you know, large uh, mm, uh, internet companies, right? Many of them uh, continue to run uh, uh, MySQL uh, many years in, right? Uh, they also did uh, improve in SQL support, like CTE, window and function, so on and so forth. In many cases, that lagged behind my ADB, but it's now there. Uh, Docstore and JSON has been a huge focus. And I think uh, MySQL look at the usability a little bit uh, differently, focused maybe on kind of developers who don't know what I'm, I'm doing, right? So MariaDB is usability for smart people. MySQL is usability for stupid people, uh, right? If you, <laughs> if you think it this way, right? So you can have a MySQL shell, which allows you to you know, provision, uh, configure MySQL cluster in minutes right there. Uh, well, it will probably take you significantly longer time, right, if you want to uh, set up a Galera cluster with, uh, with MySQL. Okay. In terms of architecture, I think MySQL started this uh, work of very painful refactoring uh, the old uh, architecture, right, which is uh, tough, right? Uh, uh, and I think that is a very tough days for MySQL when they have, uh, you know, bite the bullet and change the data dictionary, for example, but it's not really as stable uh, as a mature, right? It actually sucks in places, all right? But uh, uh, that, I, I think, uh, over the long term, would allow to solve uh, uh, a, lot of, um, a lot of problems. I think uh, what uh, another uh, thing I will highlight uh, is what there have been a tendency on some needlessly complex decisions in MySQL, right? For example, 
MySQL GT IDs. Oh my gosh, right? I mean, this is like, well, if you probably don't have two PhDs, you don't really uh, understand what the hell is going on, right, and how it works, uh, right, in this case. And with that, I would say if you look at especially initial versions, they have been very advanced GT IDs, but you couldn't upgrade them live when they first roll out in uh, MySQL 5.6, right? So that's kind of practical use case was not really uh, thought through. MariaDB, as I mentioned, is uh, pushing the old code base, right, much further. It really prioritizes choice and flexibility, right, and I think that also comes from uh, accepting a lot of uh, contributions, has support of multiple engines, right, and I think MariaDB team is much more kind of closer to practical operations, uh, right, than uh, a lot of uh, uh, folks in the uh, Oracle development team, right, well, which is easier with, you know, s uh, smaller, more agile, flatter organizations. Okay, uh, you know, five minutes. yes, five minutes. Okay, um, release frequency, which you can see is different. MariaDB is much uh, uh, faster, but what I think is important here is what um, uh, Marie, uh, what we have uh, uh, the change in the policy, right? Where MariaDB continues to focus sort of like a classical MySQL policy introducing features only in major uh, releases. We have relatively frequent major releases, right, once a year recently. We don't have any mi minor changes in the minor releases, right? And the MySQL 8 is uh, an evergreen re uh, release, right? MySQL 8 forever. Well, at least forever as in, in, in the next few years, it seems. Uh, where we have a lot of uh, cool features introduced in the minor releases, like, you know, ha hash join, right, for example, was added in the, um, you know, latest release. But what that also means, what there is a potential breakage with the minor releases, and you can't even do the downgrades between the minor uh, releases, right? Which I know freaks out a lot of a MySQL old timers, right? Let's say, oh my gosh, that is, you know, just uh, horrible, uh, horrible. Okay, some uh, uh, specifics, right? And I have now, what, uh, three minutes. So uh, anyway, uh, you'll have a slide. Uh, there are uh, differences, right? Uh, in, for example, client protocol, uh, there is a difference in terms of what kind of interface support. I think the most uh, be important one here is MariaDB uh, doesn't do doc store, right? Uh, probably doesn't believe in uh, doc store. Uh, JSON support is uh, is very different. Uh, I would say what uh, at this point I think the uh, MySQL uh, JSON support is uh, significantly more advanced than it had in, uh, in MariaDB, uh, uh, right? Uh, replication, again, is that is another place that's very, very different. MySQL has a group replication. MariaDB has uh, Galera replication. In my opinion, in places, uh, Galera, DB replication, Galera replication is uh, still uh, more advanced than group replication in places and more mature in many places. But group replication is, uh, uh, is moving faster, right, uh, at a faster rate. SQL standards, uh, I looked at this case, uh, and I don't think MySQL now offers something what MariaDB doesn't in the latest version, right? And MariaDB has done a lot of stuff, uh, especially focused on, uh, as I mentioned, migration from things like Oracle. It has system version tables, sequences, packages, and actually a lot of some other uh, stuff out there. If you want to have some uh, detailed feature comparison, uh, uh, I think this uh, 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 modernsql.com, we had a couple of articles covering MySQL 8 and also MariaDB 10.3, uh, um, 10 right? We don't have an article for 10.4 uh, 10 which adds stuff. But that is fantastic compare, compare all those kind of detailed SQL features, not only comparing them to uh, between each other, but also comparing to Postgres, uh, you know, and a bunch of commercial databases. Security. That is another piece which is a very different between MySQL and MariaDB, right? So how you manage user accounts, especially if you use advanced features like roles, plugins, very different. I'm not, don't have any time to go in, One minute. in details. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, optimizer. Optimizer is another piece which is a very, uh, very different, right? Both teams can show you benchmarks to show that their optimizer is amazing and blows other part out of the water. 
right? But uh, the thing you need to know is uh, it is different. You should expect different execution plans, especially for more, uh, more complicated uh, queries, which is important, right, from uh, migration. And that's exactly on time. That's, uh, that's it. Thank you, Fred, for keeping me on track. We have time for two or two questions. Five minutes for questions. No, not some time for one or two questions, not five minutes. Oh, not five minutes? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I have some time for questions. Questions, comments? Anyone? Yeah? Um, Only. Okay, the enterprise server only open source for customers. Is that legally okay? Well, I mean, uh, uh, what GPL says, right, as I understand, again, not a lawyer, not a lot of lawyer, right? But, uh, but it says, well, you know what, when you give somebody binaries, yeah. you have to provide them for source code as well, That's right? But it doesn't say what you have to uh, provide those, make those bi uh, source code publicly available. Now, what is important is uh, MariaDB customers ca can actually do the Jeremy Cole thing, right? If somebody remembers in the MySQL, uh, uh, MySQL days, Jeremy Cole, right, he bought subscription for one MySQL enterprise and he published a source code, right? Yeah, uh, uh, publicly, right? So they can do it, but MariaDB Corporation is not forced to make it public. But some of our customers can. Make sense? Thank you, Peter. Okay.